Hey, oh, what's going on, guys? It's Magarine here. Welcome to another tour review by yours truly today. I know, since the pandemic, it's been quite a long time since we've done a tour review, but since today Target officially opened in my area, of course, me and my parents took the opportunity to do some shopping, and with that, I got me some stuff to review. So today we got some Beyblades and we got some extras, which the extras you guys will see. So uh, if you guys are excited for this review, um, which I know you are, then let's get right into it. So to start with, I think we're going to start off with the single packs for today. Today we're going to be looking at Beyblade Burst Rise to start off with Venom Devolos D5. Yep, finally I got my hands on Devolos, which for, which for the rest of the video I'm going to just reference this guy as his Japanese name, Venom Diabolos. So that's how I'm going to call him. So, uh, as you can see on the box, we got Diabolos there, um, flying around, and he looks like he just bursted a, um, looks like an ace, no, it's Wizard Fafnir he bursted. Okay, cool. So we have that on there. You know, on the back of the box, we have the parts, so we have the chip, we have the layer base, he is a balance type, by the way, we got the disc, and we got the driver. And then over here we also have the performance, with which don't read these stats, because these stats are basically just a bunch of bunk, so don't bother reading these, because these are lies. So anyway, now opening up the box, we will take a look at the Beyblade, and then, and then well, this is where I would normally compare it to the Japanese version, but because I do not have the Japanese versions as of, as of right now due to COVID, um, I will get to that once I actually get the proper Japanese version. So, But there are definitely some significant differences between both versions. We're not going to be doing that today with most of these Beyblades because I don't have versions to compare with some of these. Although some of them I do have versions I can compare them to. So, now opening up the box here. Got to cut some, got to cut a little bit of rubber here. A little bit of rubber tags. Got to get them off of there. Come on. Come off. Okay. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera. It's just, it's easier if I do it off camera. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. And lastly, I need to get the launcher out. Oakley smokelies. So get this garbage out of the way. Okay. A little bit more garbage. Hey, what's going on? Zen22. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Sorry, this is a little bit of a late stream, but I, as I promised, tour review today. Because I haven't done one in a very long time. So this is your first ever tour review by yours truly. 1v1 Beyblade. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to start off with the launcher today to start with. So here's your basic with the Bridge Rise launcher. Very meh, very okay. So it has the evolution ripcord, but who cares? Get the launcher out of here. Well, we're really in for it's for the Beyblade. So we're going to start off with... We're going to start off with the chip this time. We're going to do this differently. So we're going to start off with the chip. So here's the chip, the Katinko chip. This is Diabolos. So Diabolos, you can see, is based off of a demon as... Diablo in, I believe, Latin translates to devil. So, pretty cool. So, this is Diabolos, the chip, and on the back we have the QR code. And unlike the Japanese version, there would be a metal disc going around this, but because there is a lack of metal with the Hasbro releases, this is all uh, we get. <laughs> kind of meh. Also, let me get in the light where you guys can see it better. There we go. So, I can see that detail better. Also, can see my little Beyblade McDonald's toys over there, too. So, pretty cool. Let's see, is there a Beyblade app? Yes, there is. This is Beyblade Burst. This is the second iteration. Of, actually, no, third generation of Beyblade in, in total. But in terms of episodes, oh, good God, there's like over 100, <laughs> I think, by now. And then here we have the layer base, Venom. So Venom is obviously based off of, well, Venom, which is a, which is a secretion that animals produce that kills things. So Venom. And it has this really nice red color to it. So, really do like that red color. Kind of like claws or something. And then we have what looks like demon heads coming off here, which looks very cool. Obviously, because Diabolos is a demon. So, we can put the chip back on there. And there you have the entire layer of Venom Diabolos. Now, there is... Now, Venom Diabolos actually comes in two in the original set. But, as you'll see later, in the Hasbro release, it comes in two different releases. So, next we have the core disc. This is called... Um, Vanguard. So Vanguard in the Japanese is actually significantly different. Because of Hasbro's design, this actually has the ability to accommodate, um, what's it called? Um, frames, which is which was not possible in the original. The original had like a red plastic disc going around. So, 
this so it's uh, it's pretty minuscule not as great as the japanese version but for the english release it's mm, acceptable i guess so that is venom or not venom vanguard i'm sorry and lastly, we have the driver. The driver is called Bullet. Now, Bullet in the Japanese is way different than this, as the original Bullet had a miniature Beyblade piece that would come out when it got hit. So it would like, so you would get hit, then a miniature Beyblade would come out and fight alongside Diabolos itself. But um, the, obviously, with a gimmick like that on early releases, it had a lot of problems. But on this one, because it's from the Hypersphere system. It's been nerfed significantly. For starters, it doesn't do the second Beyblade gimmick. And another thing is that it's just... It's just... It's not good. It's not very good. But as you can see, it does have a little insignia on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little insignia. That's, that basically shows that there's two parts that can come out. But on this one, it doesn't do that. So... Eh, what are you gonna do? But once you put it together, there we go. That is the entire combo of Venom... Diabolos, and he and he's a right spin base, so he'd be spinning this direction. So actually, let me get me some more Beyblades to compare this guy to, and then we're gonna move on to the next Beyblade. So I'll be right back. I forgot to do this before I started filming, but hey, you know what? Content. So excuse me for one moment while I go get some comparison Beyblades. Okay, so I am back, and we got some Beyblades to compare it to. So let me just get these over here. So first we're going to start off with Ace Dragon, the main Beyblade. So here is Ace Dragon compared to Venom Diabolos. So you can see significantly different Beyblades. Now this is the main character Beyblade, by the way, Ace Dragon and GT. So very, very cool Beyblade. And this is the single release that I got on my birthday. So. Yeah, this one's a very special Beyblade to me than most other Beyblades I have. So, I have that. Beyblades, Beyblades, let it rip. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm surprised these things still go on. For our next comparison, here we have Rock Dragon, the second version of Dragon. So, there we have him, Rock Dragon with Venom Diabolos. Or, yeah, Diabolos, so you can see. There. Next, we'll bring in Bushin Ashura, the Japanese version. Now, I do have the English version in the stadium set, but, I, but I'm saving that for a later review, so stay tuned for that. But um, the Hypersphere Stadium, so I will be reviewing that soon. But anyway, here's the Japanese version of Bushin Ashura compared to Venom Diabolos. So very cool. Next, we're going to bring in Judgment Joker. This is the Japanese version compared to... Diabolos, you can see the differences there. Next, we're going to bring in Slash Valkyrie. So you can see Valkyrie with Diabolos. Very, very cool. And then our last two comparisons will be with Heaven Pegasus. So you can see Heaven Pegasus with him. Which I've done a review on Heaven Pegasus, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. And then lastly, we have uh, Viper Hydrax, the Hasbro exclusive Beyblade. So very, very cool. Hey, Hot Racer, welcome to the stream. Thank you for tuning in today. So that was Venom Diabolos. Now I'm going to set him off to the side, and we're going to bring in the next pack, which I think the next pack we're going to do is its counterpart, Erase Diabolos. So here is the double pack. This is this is uh, Erase Diabolos, or Diabolos, D5, in the Hasbro. And then we have Left Astro A5. This is a recolor. This is actually A4, but they call it A5 because it's part of the new series. So, actually, for the box, let me show you off the box real quick before I actually open it. So here we have, um, here we have, um, um, what is this, Apollos? Yeah, Duo Apollos, right, Left Apollos. There. This is the Japanese version, Left Apollos, so... And then we have Devolos there. So. And then on the back, we have the parts, as you can see. Take a chip, layer base, disc, and driver for both versions. Well, this one doesn't have a chip, so it's just the base layer. So. But we will open these up and we'll take a look at them. And again, we're going to do more comparisons. You guys can see the difference between the different products. So, let's open this sucker up. This is a 
I am really out of doing tour reviews, guys. Jeez, normally I'd be quicker to open up these boxes, but no. Nope. Oh, come on, let go of your tape. Okay, there we go. Stupid tape. Let's see. Your favorite episode was... What? Oh, my God. <laughs> favorite episode... Oh, are you watching, like, what, is it Criminal Minds or something? That's a good show. So... Yeah, all right, so I'm just getting this out of the box. I mean, get the snips. Where's the snips? There you go. Come here, snips. I need to uncut these stupid cords off. Oh, come on. Oh, why does the cord have to be like that? Okay, because I don't want to scratch the wire. Come on. Come on. Uh, shoot, there we go. Get, get off there. One, two, and three. That's your note. That's going to be four. There we go. Then for uh, Apollos. Oh, God, if I cannot scratch the layer, that's great. It's already going to get scratched up anyway, but come on. I don't want to scratch it out of the box. That's just stupid. So, and I have no idea what the driver for this one is, but we will see. I think it might actually be a liner. I have no clue. Actually, no, it's not liner. No. Anyway. So, open up the box, and then we're just going to take out the parts. Starting with, we're going to start off with the GT Beyblade this time. Not the previous generation one that's included with it as well. So, same thing as last one. This is Diabolos, the chip. So, literally the same thing as this one, except actually, it's actually, I think it's a lighter color. I don't know. Oh, wait, no, they're not lighter. They're both the same thing. Yeah, same thing, except this one has a clear gray plastic instead of black plastic. So, that is Diabolos. And then we have the, uh, we have the Erase layer base here. So, Erase is significantly different from Diabolos in the fact that, obviously, color is different, has more blades, and it's left spin. So, this will absorb spin instead of countering spin and dealing more damage. So, there you go. And with the chip in, there you have Erase Diabolos completely together. Next, we'll take a look at the disc, which is literally the same thing as the last one which has Vanguard, so we already looked at this, so we're just going to skip over it, but Vanguard does come with it. And lastly, I believe we get, yep, we get a second version of Bullet. Now, funny thing, this Bullet is actually different. As you guys can see, this Bullet has a significantly different design. So, very interesting. But again, would, if, if this was a Japanese version, they would both be in the same box, and would, and would only come with one set of the Vanguard and Bullet driver and disc. But there you go. So there is Erase Diabolos in completion. And for comparison's sake, and I'm going to do a little bit less this time, just for time, we're going to be doing Venom Diabolos for comparison. So you can see the difference between these two. Venom and Erase Diabolos. Significantly different from each other. Same Beyblade, but with two different layer bases. Two different forms. Next, we'll take a look at the Cho Z Beyblade that we get in the set. Or if this was Hasbro terms, it would be Turbo. So, which Turbo was absolute garbage. But still, you know, hey, I gotta take what I can get, right? <laughs> so here we have Left Apollos. So Left Apollos is basically the same thing as the Hasbro version that came before in the, um, what was it called? It was like a dual, like, ramp clash, dual clash stadium or something like that. I forget what it's called. But it basically came with this Beyblade, except in its original Japanese color scheme. So this is like a powder blue, which I do like. Do I Thank you. Okay, sorry about that. I had a call midstream. Ain't that great? And it was completely... So, anyway, ignore that. So, and I like how this is a powder blue, and it's like a cyan kind of at the top. I kind of... I really do like that. Really nice transition from that. Now, if this was the Japanese version, this would have metal on it, but because it's Hasbro, and because they're cheap nowadays, it doesn't have any metal. Oh, and also, if you do have the original Beyblades, you can switch the rotation by taking a tool and just popping out the inner part, and you can switch rotations. So very, very cool. Now, next up in this set, we get... Uh, this is Blitz. This is a Hasbro version of Blitz. Now, the original Blitz is significantly bigger, and on top of that, it actually has little stoppers on it. Now, actually, I can actually compare this to the original Blitz disc. So let me get off my Slash Valkyrie over here. So here is the original Blitz disc compared to Hasbro's Blitz. Look at the difference there. Significantly. Significantly different. So as you can see, this one has little red parts that would flare out when you launch it. This one doesn't have anything like that, and it supports frames. Which I guess is a nice addition, but it's not the original, and that peeves me. And it peeves a lot of people. But Hasbro is cheap these days, since the closing of Toys R Us and stuff like that. They've just been getting really cheap with their parts. But hey, we're still buying them because, hey, we're going to support them so they can give us better stuff. Anyway, so this is the driver, and I believe the driver is... Ooh, I think this is Spiral. Yeah, this is Spiral. Yeah, this is the Spiral driver. 
So very, very interesting. Uh, significantly different design again because this would actually have rubber on it and this would and it would be a lot smaller and a lot more compact but this one because it's the hypersphere gimmick of it riding like riding the rails and riding around the stadium like a skateboard they had to change it around significantly so uh, good job hasbro i guess so that is your lot so that is left apollos so he would spin that way and actually i should probably go get the original version to compare so actually, I'm gonna go get that. And I'm actually gonna get my Japanese version as well. So be right back. Right, I do apologize guys for being a little bit all over the place with this review, but I'm out of it. Usually I would get this stuff ready ahead of time, but I kind of rushed into this video, so I apologize. But anyway, so here is left Apollos right here. This is the Hasbro version, so you can see the difference between those two. So that's the Japanese, uh, English, I mean. Now this is the Japanese version of Left Apollos. Now as you can see, this is significantly battle damage. As you can see, the stickers are really dinged up. But there you go with the, with the other bay, Hasbro's version. So there you go. So that is the Apollo. so pretty cool Beyblade. So I think next we're going to do the next double pack. So the next double pack comes with Dusk Balkesh B5, which I forget the Japanese name off the top of my head. I believe it's Dark Bahamut, I believe. I do not remember. Oh, I remember the name now. Wait, what was it called? Oh, God, hang on. I have to remember. One second, guys. I have to remember what this thing was called. I know we don't do this often, but... Oh, God. I forget the name of this Beyblade. So... Oh god, I'm sorry guys. So hang on, let me let me look one second at what what this Beyblade's called in the Japanese, because I don't remember the Japanese name. Oh no, that's really bad if I can't remember what the name of the Beyblade is. Oh god, that's really bad. Dark Valkash, oh, I look that up. Oh god, that's really bad. Let's see. What the heck is that thing called? Oh god. What's the name? What's the name? What's the Japanese name? Uh, Dread Bahamut. That's what it is. Dread. Wow, I couldn't remember that. Dread Bahamut. I'm sorry, guys. Dread Bahamut. That's the name. So, Dread Bahamut in the Japanese. And then, next we're gonna... And then next we're gonna look at... Uh, here on the right, left actually uh we have right artemis a5 which is a recolor so pretty cool at the top of the box again just shows off the beyblade spinning in like an anime style graphic so very very cool and on the back as usual we get to look at the parts we get to look at the stats which again do not believe these stats these stats are bunk don't believe them they're just they're just marketing ploy they're gonna make they're trying to get you this trying to get you to sell their product so don't believe those those are fake so anyway opening up the box we obviously get the Beyblades in there, and, oh, and just like we did before, we're going to take a look at the Beyblades, take a look at the parts, and yeah, there we go. So, just open up the box, and again, I need my snips. Where are my snips? Oh god, I misplaced my snips. Where are my snips? Give me the snips. Okay, thank you. Okay, cool. Why am I talking as if there's someone in the room? I'm the only one that's in the room. Things I say on camera, right? <laughs> okay, come on, you stupid rubber band. Get in my snip. There you go, thank you. Okay, the fact that I'm using nail clippers, not box bait plates, that shows you just how much of a cheapo I am. Is that I'm not actually using real scissors. I'm just using, I'm just using nail clippers to snip rubber bands off of bait plate product, toys, parts. Oh, God. Okay. So, there we go. So, let's just get these out of the box now. And we would like to look at the parts to start with. So again, we're gonna start off with the GT Beyblade, the, the, the newer Beyblade. And I will tell you guys the differences, etc., etc. 
So I'm going to start off with the chip. The chip here is called Bahamut, respectively. Now, Bahamut obviously is a dragon, even though in lore it's actually a giant fish. But, but uh, pop culture and lore has modified the Bahamut into being a benevolent dragon rather than the giant fish it's supposed to be, or originally was. So that is Bahamut. Next up, we get Dread or Dusk. So, Dread here actually has some significant changes from the Japanese. First of all, the Japanese would have a gimmick similar to Heaven Pegasus in the fact that these little green parts would push out when it's close to bursting, so that way when it hits, it would actually retract up its clicks, thus giving it a second chance at life kind of thing. So, that's the whole gimmick behind that. So, that is Dark Balkesh, and we put it, to, or Dread Bahamut, put that together, bam, there's your Dread Bahamut. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the disc. Now actually the disc would come with the wall frame that was seen on a Chosey Spriggan. But um, on this version it just comes with a 7 disc. So as you can see it has some little metal etchings that look like number 7's on there. Hence why it's called a 7 disc. Actually a very good disc. So Next up we have Orbit. Now this actually in the Japanese would be Orbit Metal. Which is a modified version of Orbit except it has a metal ball on it instead of a plastic ball. And basically the gimmick of it is basically where it would, basically the ball would help stabilize it when it gets hit, so that way it doesn't topple over or lose any stamina. So that's the gimmick behind that. And again, with the hypersphere gimmick, it's super chunky, it's not, it's not very good, you get, the, you get the point. So then we put it together, and bam, there is your Dark Bahamut, or does Dread Bahamut, okay, I'm changing, I'm, I am really getting confused with these names. Again, I have not been in the Beyblade community for a while, so please do uh, understand that I am very out of it, but I'm slowly getting back into it, so there we have Dread, Dread Bahamut, jeez, I can't talk, okay, and they're the parts. So actually, I'll have to go away once again, because I'm gonna have to go grab the previous version for comparison, which was Ark Bahamut, so... Be right back. Again, sorry about that. Okay guys, sorry about that for the interruption again. So for comparison, here we have its previous evolution, Ark Bahamut from Beyblade Burst God Season 2. So, and this is the season four, yeah, season four release of the Beyblade. So really cool to see this Beyblade evolve and get just one heck of an upgrade. So very, very cool. Definitely do like that. Oh, and also in the Japanese, this thing would have something called the Gen layer weight inside. And the layer weight would base, that layer weight basically takes away the metal and basically adds a rubber stopper that basically makes it more difficult to burst. So very, very cool. Also, welcome back Zen to the stream. So next we're going to take a look at the Chozy Beyblade that comes in the set, which is, um, let's see, Wright Artemis in the Japanese. So here is Wright Artemis. Now, honestly, when I saw Peach first, the first pictures of this Beyblade, I hated this color scheme. And I just really didn't like this, but it's kind of grown on me a little bit. For some reason, this, again, this powder blue, this orange, and this dark blue, or this darkish kind of blue really kind of work for me. I really kind of like it. Again, it's not as good as the original version, but for a recolor, not bad. Not a bad color scheme. I don't mind it at all. Even though it looks like Fanta Orange, but that's fine. Actually, you know what? That just gave me a great idea. We're going to call this guy Fanta Artemis for the rest of the stream. We're going to call it Fanta Artemis. There we go. Then next, we're going to take a look at the disc, which first appeared on Venom Hydrax. This is Python. Yes. So Python is a Hasbro exclusive disc, and looks very Aztec kind of looking. Very cool. Oh, it's not Venom Hydrax, it's Viper Hydrax, I'm sorry. Viper Hydrax is the name of that one. Hasbro exclusive design. So you can't find that one in the Japanese, essentially is what that means. It means it's exclusive to the Hasbro brand, and you can't get it through the Japanese releases, because they didn't release it in the Japanese. So, and of course there are theories going around saying the Japanese versions... Uh, they did the Hasbro versions uh, exclusives are actually old Japanese scrap designs, but who knows? We don't know because the company is not, hasn't told us anything, so we don't know. So here's the driver. Now, I have to remember what the driver of this is called. 
Oh, I think this is Liner? Is this Liner? What is this driver? Hang on. I'm actually gonna have to look this up again. Cause I don't remember what this driver's called. I think it might be a house exclusive. I have no clue. I'm gonna have to look it up real quick. So let's see. Right, Artemis. What are the pieces for that? Cause I don't remember. Let's see. Jagged Hypersphere. Ooh, Jagged is a Hasbro exclusive driver. Okay. So this is a Hasbro exclusive driver, Jagged. Very interesting looking driver. Um, kind of looks like a dome, kind of like a spiky gear. Very weird. But still, very cool design. Put it together, and bam, there's your combo for right Artemis. Now for comparison, we're going to bring in the Hasbro version from the, from the, from the, um, what is it, last season's release? Yep. Josie, season three. So there we go. Ray Artemis, Hasbro version. And then we're going to bring in the Takara Tomi version of the Beyblade. Right, Artemis. So, and it got some gook on it. So I think it's. Yeah. Got the gook off it. There we go. Yeah, some more gook. All right, got it. There we go. So you can see the differences between the two Beyblades. And this one does have metal, unlike this one, which is just painted plastic. Significantly changes the performance on that one. So there we go. And then lastly for today's review, we're going to be taking a... Well, lastly for the Beyblade segment of this review, we're going to be looking at Glyph Dragon D5, which in the Japanese is called Grand Dragon D5, or Grand Dragon. So, and again, just like Venom and Race Diabolos, these would come in like a deluxe set where you would get all two Beyblades parts in there so you could just swap between them without having to buy multiple packs. But of course, Hasbro being Hasbro, they have to make money, so they did it this way. Good job, Hasbro. Anyway, so here are the pieces, as you can see. You got your chip, you got your base, you got your disc, and you got your driver. Again, don't look at these stats. Crap, bunk, lies. Don't, don't look at them. Because those stats don't mean anything. And then, opening up the box, and we're going to take a look at the parts. You guys get the drill. I don't need to repeat myself, but I just really enjoy repeating myself because, hey, content. So, what are you going to do? Besides, I'm going to mute the video because, you know, when you hear me repeat myself 20 million times. <laughs> so, that's the only real thing you can do. Or just click off the video because you got bored already. Which, if you have clicked off the video because you got bored already, I don't blame you. I really don't. <laughs> but, hey, people like this stuff, so whatever. Anyway. And, yeah, so get, I'm still going to get views on this, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. Freaking snips. Oh, my God. Just work with me. Okay, sorry. My snips are being very uncooperative right now. Okay, there we go. No, you're good. And this set does come with a launcher, as we saw with the last Beyblade, Venom Gear Bolos. So, anyway, let me get the packaging out of it. Sorry. Very yeah, professional of me to show the box, like, the inner packaging, because who wants to see that? Anyway, so we're going to take a look at the parts again, yada, 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 comparisons, you get the drill. So, we were doing that. And then we're going to move on to the extra segment of the video. So, first off, we have the Katinko chip. Which again is dragon. So same, literally the same thing as on Ace and Rock. So let me bring them out. Where is Ace and Rock? There we go. Literally the same thing as Ace and Rock Dragon. Except so the only difference is that this one is blue and it looks like the original Rock one instead of this one, which is green and red. So, yeah. Although the set I do have, which I'm going to be doing for a later review, is actually in its proper anime color scheme, which is significantly different from this green and blue. So and red. But there you go. So there is Dragon there. Let me move these guys out of the way. We'll do a comparison with them in a second. But next we have the layer base. Grand. Now, Grand looks, or Glyph, looks very similar to, um, like, like a, like, it looks like fire. Yeah. This is a stamina layer, so this is supposed to have very limited contact points. It's basically supposed to spin for long periods of time. But you guys can see at the top, those little dragon heads that obviously represent the dragon itself. So very, very cool. And inside, we do have the Xan layer weight, which on this one, again, because it's the Hasbro version, it is just plastic, not actual metal, and it's not removable, obviously, because it's etched into the plastic, it's molded in. So next, we have the disc, which is called Sting. 
So Sting in the Japanese is significantly different from this in the fact that it has a plastic ring going around and it has a gimmick similar to God Valkyrie or Genesis Valtrek. And that when it, when it hit the stadium, uh, the little plastic ring would spring backwards and would sling back forward in a rapid sort of like, kind of like a switchblade kind of motion. Basically allowing it to smash it off of walls and coming in and hurling at the other Beyblade for a, for a deadly attack. So there is Sting. And then lastly, we have the driver, which is called Charge. Now in the Japanese, Charge is, again, significantly different because it's a little bit bigger. And these little teeth claw-like things are actual metal, too. And on top of that, the tip is significantly different because it's like a star tip, so it's a lot more aggressive. So there you go. But again, we're going to put all the pieces together. So Grand Dragon, Sting, Charge. Put them together and bam there you have your grand dragon now for comparison we are going to bring in again ace and rock so you can see all three baby blades together ace grand and rock let me move the light up there we go there we go that's a lot better so ace grand and rock dragon all together there we go the, the, the trio of Beyblades, of the main character Beyblade. So, basically attack, defense, and stamina. So, ultimately, technically, this Beyblade's a balance type, if you think about it. But, eh, whatever. So, there you go. So, that was the Beyblade segment. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to go quickly clean up the recording studio right here in a second. Right now, actually, not in a second. And then we're going to take a look at the next segment of the video. So be right back but you guys can feel free to uh, leave any questions for me or anything whilst i'm cleaning up so i'll be doing that and then once we're done with that we're going to take a look at the extra section so be right back guys All right, guys, I am back, and we are going to move on to the bonus section of the video. So today's bonus section, we will be looking at some Pokemon cards. Yeah, but, but really bad transition, I apologize. But anyway, Pokemon cards, so that's what we're going to be looking at. 
I'm going to start off with this booster pack right here, which you can see has Cell Valley, has Type Null, and also has a uh, Sceptile little coin in there, and a booster pack in the back. So, we're going to open it up, we're going to take a look at what's inside, and we're going to take a look at the booster pack. And we're going to see how good my luck is. Never done a Pokemon card unboxing before, but hey, you know what? New experiences, new new opportunities, new things that people might like. So, I'm going to do this as a test. If you guys want me to do more Pokemon card unboxings, please let me know for, tour, for future tour reviews, because I will definitely do more. And this is the first time I've bought a Pokemon pack in ages. But, uh, but, but, well, I don't think you guys actually know, but my card expansion is stupid big. Like, I got a lot of Pokemon cards. Like, like, I think I got too many, I think, sometimes. Because I got DXs, I got EXs, I got, I got things. I got lots of good cards. But if you guys want to see a full in-depth look at my whole Pokemon card collection, please do let me know, because I would love to show you guys my entire collection, because it's absolutely massive. But anyway, so first off in the deck we get Sil Valley, and this is a really awesome card, but not as good as my Sil Valley GX, because that thing's way better. But anyway, Sil Valley, nice looking card, nice art, good stuff. Next we get Type Null, this is my first Type Null card, so very nice. And Smash taking Quick Blow, good stuff. Again, would like it if it was a better, you know, if it had better art, but eh, I'll take what I can get. Then next we have one of these scan cards. You can scan for online rewards, but we're not going to take a look at that. That's garbage. And next we're going to take a look at the actual pack itself. This is a sword and shield pack. So we'll take a look at it. We're going to open it up. Take the cards out. And we're going to see how lucky I am today. Because who knows? Maybe you might pull a really good card. We don't know. Because usually I have really good luck with booster packs, but we'll see if luck is in my favor today. We will see. Taking a look at the pack, we have first off we have Pinchurchin, Vulpix, Nicket, Ball Toy, Chinchu, Sizzlipede, ooh, a shiny one, Gengar, Energy Card, Lumberry, Aurora Berry, and a Double. Okay, not bad for the start. Also, another one of these get cards, but eh. whatever. Don't know how those are useless. Anyway. I don't know why I even keep those. I should really just get rid of them. So that was our first pack. Next up, we have a multi-pack here, which comes over Quaza, another coin, and three Rebel Clash booster packs. So again, we're going to open it up, take a look at the contents, and again, see how luck favors me today. Because who knows? Maybe you might get a GX card in one of these packs. We will see. Because I would love to get a GX or maybe like a V. We'll see. Maybe get a Legendary? No clue. But... And it's doing a tour review. What are you doing? Do a tour review. Huh? I'm boxing my Pokemon cards and showing them off and seeing how lucky I get. Okay. So I just, I just finished up doing my Beyblade segment and I'm doing this as like an extras. Okay, can you do me a favor before yeah. you start your next one? Yeah. Can you what? take my plate downstairs so the jockeys can have it? Okay. Thank you. If I'm doing that. Where's your cookies? I think Dad has them downstairs because I didn't take them. All right, guys. So be right back, as you as you may have just heard just now. My mom needs me to do some stuff, so be right back. But once I get back, we will take a look at what the contents are and unbox those next booster packs.
Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. We will take a look at the car packs now. So, uh, we're gonna get rid of the scan cards because those are basically garbage. Oh, and also, let me show you guys the Septile coin. I forgot to show you that. Septile coin. But what cares about coins? Coins are crap. And plus, they're not even good quality coins. It's not like they're metal or anything. So, who cares about that? And there's collectibles. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, good job, Nintendo. I mean, nice stuff. But, like, come on. Can you give us a nice metal coin or something? That'd be really nice. Instead of these plastic garbage coins. Oh, and in this one, we get a, um, what is this? A Dusk Form Lichen Rock coin. So, very cool. I do like dust form like a rock. Sad I never got one of those on Ultra Moon because when I tried to get them last holiday, or the holiday of that year, and somehow the game was sold out. I'm like, what? What's on Ultra Moon is sold out? Are you kidding me? I'm like, I just wanted a Pokemon game for Christmas. Come on, what are you doing? Because usually every Christmas I get the new Pokemon games. Uh, Rip Sword and Shield, because you happen to be on a console that I can't afford. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, besides my little nitpicks, Rayquaza time. See you guys, This is probably my... I would say fifth, maybe, Rayquaza, because I got a lot of Rayquazas. I got a couple EXs, I got some standard versions, um, and then this is my newest one. So, do like this, because I like Rayquaza. He's one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. Let me know in the comments, actually. Now we're talking about that, let me know in the comments who you guys' favorite Pokemon are, because I'm curious. So first off, we're going to start off with this one. This has, what is this? This is, oh god... I forget the name of this Pokemon. If you guys remember the name of this Pokemon, please let me know in the comments, because I forgot what this thing is. Oh, actually, it just came to me. Toxitricity um, to Gigantamax. That's what this is. Gigantamax Toxtricity. There we go. Perfect. Jeez, I, I'm surprised I remember the names of some of these Pokemon, because they're like, what, like 100 plus something Pokemon now? Good lord, there's a lot of Pokemon. So... Because it, it, was, it was so much different back in the days, and there were only 151 Pokemon. But anyway, enough nitpicks for me. So let me get rid of the stupid scan card. Get rid of that. Anyway, then we're going to take a look at the deck itself and see what we get. So we start off with Applin. Hatena, I think that's how you pronounce that one. Magikarp, Metatite, Stunky, Boss's Orders. Ooh, nice card. Electivire, Energy, Pelipper, Bronzong, and a Nugget. Okay. Not too bad of a deck, but again, I would like to see some legendaries or some DXs or some Vs. Hate to be that, hate to be greedy, but <laughs> come on. Let's, let's get, come on. All right. Next up, we have another deck with Toxtricity Gigantamax on it. So very, very cool. Come on, open up you. Oh, God, this seal's really tight. Ah! Come on, get open, you silly. There we go. Okay. Opening up the deck. Okay, the pack, and we're going to see what we get in this one. Take out the scan card, and let's see what our luck brings us. So first off, we have Stuffle, Lotad, Growlithe, Roly Coley. Ooh, that's a cool looking Pokemon. Metatite. Ooh, very interesting Metapod. Nice shiny. It's like the clothy kind of one. Ooh, a Scizor. I don't have a Scizor, I don't think. Nice. Good to see you, Scizor. Energy. Ooh, Heracross, Capicious Bucket, and Turffield Stadium. Oh, that's from the new games, right? Sword and Shield? Yeah, okay. So there's that deck again. It's nice to see I'm getting some Galarian Pokemon, but come on, DXs, V, something. Oh, and this one has uh, Cinderace um, Gigantamax on it. So very cool. Do like that. It's nice to see if they're getting nice art on these. Now, again, if I could get a really good Pokemon out of this bag, that would be really great. I would really love to get some good pulls out of this. Okay, come on. Okay, pull it out of the box, our bag, get rid of the scan card, and let's see what we get. Shinx. Ooh, Sandy Ghast. Roly Coley. Stunky. Clefairy. Ooh, Shiny Applin. <gasps> Yo! Copperaja V! Dude! Copperaja! Oh my god, yes! Oh, finally, I told you my luck is good. Nice! Copperaja V! Alright. Energy, energy, we've got some grass type energy, Pelipper, Speed Electric Energy, and Metapod. But yo! Copperaja V! Yo! Adamantine Pass and Whackdown. Dope looking card. Oh, I gotta keep this thing in good condition, but man, that's a great pull. Awesome. Love shiny, amazing cards like that. Awesome. Copperage of V. Good pull. All right, so I'm going to quickly clean up this section over here. Going to move the cards over because I'm going to have to organize my whole collection again. But anyway, 
Yep, so I got some more Academy after the stream. But we're going to move on to the next and final packs, uh, pack, multi-pack thing. So in this one, we get more Pico on the box. We get a Garchomp coin, and we get some more multi-packs. So again, let's try my luck. Who knows? Maybe I might get something crazy. Like maybe we might get like a like a Zacian on V or something. Who knows? The the possibilities are endless. And you and like I said before, my luck is very very good with these. As you guys will see, if we get enough you know demand for a entire Pokemon card collection review, you guys will see just how good my luck is. Or at least in my opinion, I have really good luck. Because I put out some really crazy EXs, and I got some really cool, uh, some really cool looking GXs and stuff. So let me get the packs out. So we got the packs here. So let me just pull these out. Get rid of the scan card. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I went to decide to go British for that part. But anyway, moving on. So next up, we have the Garchomp coin there. As you guys can see, Garchomp coin. Very cool. And we're going to take a look at the more Pico card that we get in the box right out the gate. So here is more Pico. Now, I actually really like more Pico, actually, because it has, like, two forms, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has two different forms. It's like a hamster or something. Kind of cool one. Nice to see another Pikachu knockoff that isn't just a deliberate Pikachu knockoff. It's like, a, what's it called? Toge Demaru? I like that one from Sun and Moon. That one's cool. Alright, so here we have the Sword and Shield, the first pack. This is the one with Gigantamax Snorlax, which looks awesome. Looks a little silly in the game, but in terms of the art, that looks actually really good. So, oh, come on. Open! Okay, there we go. Well, let's open it backwards. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to get the scan card out of the way, and then we're going to take a look at the deck, and we're going to see what we get. So in the deck, first off, we get Rosalia, Ghastly, Ponyard, another Sizzlipede, but not the shiny one. Yamper, ooh, shiny Bisharp, that's kind of cool. Thievil, nice, got the evolution. Energy, Galarian Stunfisk, I hate this design, honestly, but I mean, nice card, but oh god, I hate the design. Pokemon Center Lady, nice, and a Sea King, all right, nice deck to start with. Nothing crazy, but nice deck. Next off, we have another pack, and this one has Gigantamax. Oh god, what's the name of this guy? Oh, I can always, I can never remember the name of this thing. Oh, what's the name? Lapras, that's it. Gigantamax Lapras, sorry. My brain had a major fart right now. So I do apologize, but Gigantamax Lapras. So, pretty, pretty cool. So, come on, open up the pack. Come on, come on, open, open you. There we go, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's open this sucker up. Take out the scan card in the back. And we're going to see what we get. Shut up, Lapar Mode. I don't care. Anyway, right on. So we get that to start with. Rookie D. Krabby. Grookey. Ooh. Mudbray. Potion Item. Nine Tails. Energy. Hitmonchan. Great Ball. And a Galarian Linoon. Yo, that's actually not bad art. I actually like this. That is dope. Nice. Okay. Nice deck to start off with. Well, to second next nice deck there. You know what I mean. Anyway, last deck we have here has, uh, what's, what's it? Zacian on it. So very, very cool. One of the two legendary dogs along with Samazenta. Well, they're not really legendary dogs. I mean, I don't even know if they even have a name for their group. It's like Legendary Beast, Sacred Beast, whatever, from Gen 2. Then we had the Legendary Birds in Gen 1. It's like, oh god, I can't keep up. Because there's too many trios and duos and thingies now. Anyway, take out the scan card. Let's see what we get. So we get Hoot Hoot, Pinchurchin, Ooh, Vulpix, Nicket, Ball Toy, Shiny Inteleon. That's actually not bad. Mudsdale. Ooh, energy. Rotom Bike, Drizzile, and Bisharp. But dude, that was awesome. That last deck we got, um, what was it? Um, oh god, what was it called again? The, um, oh god. The, the V. Yeah, the V Pokemon. I forget his name already. Wow. Copperaja V. That's what it was. Copperaja V. Yeah, that was awesome. 
Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and turn notifications on. And remember to let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a full in-depth look at my entire Pokemon card, Pokemon card collection. And if you guys want to see more tour reviews from me. But anyways, uh, that would be all. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And I will